What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. I'm getting ready for my live stream coming up at 9 o'clock Eastern from here at the Red Brick House. Hope you guys have had a great week, and it is almost time for the Dallas Cowboys and another week of football. I literally cannot wait. You know, I was waiting for this today. Um, you know, I've been working on, on, the, on the house here. You know, there's a lot of work and stuff to do and things. And so I haven't had a chance to really go over all of the, the different shows and things. But um, I, as I was sitting here, I wanted to hear Shady McCoy's take. You'll remember when he was talking about Dak Prescott being ass ass, right? And so I'm sitting here looking that last night... When Kirk Cousins, because see, here, here's what pisses me off, okay? You know, Kirk Cousins has this thing that everybody says, well, it's Kirk Cousins in primetime. But they don't talk about Daniel Jones, who's 1-13 in, in primetime. He's got a worse, I mean abysmal. His record so is so bad on primetime that it makes uh, Kirk Cousins look extremely good. Seriously. One and 13 is Daniel Jones. You know, uh, Kirk Cousins is like, you know, 11 and 23. Uh, you know, not great, but not the worst in the world as it's made out to be. And so on Speak, the first thing they said, Kirk Cousins in prime time. I have to be honest with you. Kirk Cousins was the only reason why they were in the game. Because, it, you know, you look at all the drops. The drops weren't on Aaron Rodgers. Justin Jefferson losing the ball at the one yard line and it going out of bounds was not on Kirk Cousins, nor was the defense not being able to stop them to get a field goal right there, nor was it when the punt return, punt returner fumbled on the 35. It certainly wasn't Kirk Cousins that only rushed the ball 35 times in the game. Kirk Cousins threw 365 yards against that defense with a backup offensive line and three TDs. He played better than Jalen Hurts did. But yet, here they go. Oh, well, Kirk, Kirk Cousins in primetime. But here's what's funny. Here's what's so funny to me, because I don't know how you look at this with the Eagles and say that they're the same team as last year. Now, it's still early in the season. You know, before they, you know, you, you got time to get your stride. In the first couple of games, you don't know really what the team is. But we can look and say, I believe you played Minnesota the second week of the season last year and you won 27 to 7. Okay? You blew them out in prime time. In prime time. This, I, I think this is apples to apples. Now, last night, you get scared. They came close to beating you. And had it not been for others' mistakes, they would have. You can't look at Jalen Hurts, who only had 2.9 yards per rush. Yes, he did rush the ball into the end zone. But you don't honestly, are you, I, I hope you guys are delusional enough to think that this is the same team it was last year. It's not. Jalen Hurts is not the same quarter. The plays are not the same. Now, that's not to say that Swift isn't playing dynamically because he is. Swift is doing great things. Uh, Jalen Carter, you know, that guy is, you know, doing some stuff. You know, Jordan Davis is, is making some good plays. But your secondary and linebackers, N'Kobe Deems out for a few weeks, is ass-ass. Mac Jones got three TD passes on him. Kirk Cousins got four. So I'm sitting here listening to speak, and Shady McCoy, now I, I would go ahead and put it on here, but it'll get copyrighted. I'm, I'm sharing it to Twitter. So if you want to check out my Twitter, check out my Twitter. Because Joy Taylor is like, what are we talking about here? We're talking about they won the game. That you don't have to be pretty to win the game. All that matters is they're 2-0. Oh. Okay, I agree with that. But all week, where the Dallas Cowboys go 40 and 0, 40 and 0, all I heard was, well, Dak Prescott, he didn't look that good. Dak Prescott, you know, he, he, there's something going on in Dallas. 
by the time Dak Prescott got the ball, we were up 14 to nothing. At that point, you coast. Well, he's not throwing the ball downfield. You know, he's got to show, you know, we, we win games. We win games. Well, Dak's got to show me more. Dak's got to show me more. The Eagles look like ass the first two weeks. Mac freaking Jones, 321 yards, three TDs. They should have won the game had it not been for their own mistakes. Not exactly a premier team. Minnesota Vikings, minus Dalvin Cook, minus Alvin Thielen, minus an offensive line. Go toe for toe with you and your quarterback. Eh. Meh. The thing that he supposedly does best, he ain't doing. But here it is. Oh, they're good. They're good. And the one that really kills me is Shady McCoy. Shady McCoy, you know, Cowboys were winning games last year. I, I believe they were winning some games last year, including against the Eagles. Dak Prescott is ass ass. Jalen Hurts, MVP. Dak Prescott, can I say it? Ass ass. And then he goes on to say, well, you know, Sometimes you have some games that you're not real good at. What? Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? Because that's not the way you play with Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, oh man, he's ass ass. I, look, Dak Prescott, he got to show me more. Are you kidding me? See, it, it's kind of crazy to me because when you watch stuff on TV, sports shows. You think of Spock Sports, you think of ESPN. You think that they should be credible and know what they're talking about as opposed to just bullshit. I saw an article today from ESPN that said if the Cowboys trade Dak or release him at the end of the year, they save $32 million or something like that. You know he has a no-trade clause. So if you're going to say anything, you could say if the, Dak, if the Cowboys release Dak Prescott, because you can't trade him, okay? Remember what happened with Derek Carr? The Raiders said, hey, why don't you try and find a team you want to go to? Seek a trade. He found a team he wanted to go to, the Saints. And he said, I'm not waving my no-wave clause. I'm not giving that to you. Screw you. Release me, and I'm going to go sign with them. So that's how it works. So at least be truthful in your comments. Come on, man. And, and let's at least keep it balanced. You can't turn around and say, well, Jalen Hurts, you know, hey, you know, he, he's okay to have a bad game. Dak Prescott, they blow, they blow out in historic fashion. Well, Dak didn't, he, he got to show me more. Come on, man. Even you haters have to admit, that's some bullshit. All right, good people. I hope to see you guys on our live stream here in about an hour or a little bit more. See you there.